Now, the S&P dropped all the way down, hit that yellow zone right down here, and then we bounced. Let's go down to a smaller time frame. We had a little hiccup at this yellow zone, right? So we hit this yellow zone. Let's, let's really zoom in for the people on, on the mobile devices. Didn't realize I bumped it. All right, so from the mobile devices, it sold off, hit that yellow zone, bounced all the way up to the blue zone, sold all the way back off, ended up being a wick, and then we went zone to zone again. Now we hit this yellow zone, we played the back and forth game, a little ping pong game if you've been following for a while. I did not draw these zones today, yesterday, last week, or the week prior. They've been on there for a while. They're just called magic uh, if you don't understand how the markets work. Uh, so uh, with one... Hopefully, if I do save up enough one day, I, I want to buy a crystal ball. Almost there. I had some before. I just gave them away uh, in a giveaway. So I'm going to get another one. And the numbers will be a little bit more accurate. Uh, but let's watch these two zones right now. As far as futures go, this is where your head is at for the S&P. For everyone asking, this is SPY. This is ES Futures. I know it's going to get repeated 9 million times. Because TikTok will come in, hey, can you break down ES? And then I do, and then I move on to like QQQ, and then someone else comes in and says, hey, can you break down ES? I'm like, holy cow, y yeah, were you not here? You just, is it just the luck? How does that work? Anyway, if you're watching on YouTube, I'm, I'm live on both right now. Um, but um, Snow Bunny Cake, Snow Bunny Cake 420, shared the live. Huh, YouTube, how do you... Where are you guys at? How many of you guys have shared the uh, the live? Would I have more subscribers if you guys shared? You guys know why I gained so much on TikTok because of let me shout her out one more time again. Snow Bunny Cake 420 shared it. So bang, appreciate that. Spy fell the last rate cut. Yeah, but the last rate cut was a very different time than this rate cut. Entirely different world. Uh, so I wouldn't put too much on the on the rate cut just yet uh you know as far as like past oh it did this in the past there there's there's even charts going around about every time but it's not every time because it left out a couple times uh you gotta be careful with the people sharing this happened in 1930 this happened in 1980 uh because they it, it does fit their narrative and it is cherry picked data most of the time uh so for now it's a new world it's a new time you know back then they didn't even have well they had bitcoin uh some of them depends on how far back we go uh, anyway so as far as my thoughts uh as far as es spy the s p i've called it by everything you will know it as and trade it as tomorrow watch these two zones if we get above this all this was was just a great dip buy uh and we call it great because we haven't even seen a red candle this big in forever uh, but as far as the expected moves, we drew these out on Sunday. So if you aren't following me, make sure you do and then show up on Sunday because we draw this line right here. and We got just outside of it and then they reined it right back in. So I, when I said the, I think the fireworks are done, I do think it's the dip buy. I just don't think we're going to beat out today's high. Uh, I think hopefully what I hope to pan out is I'm right and I make a bunch of money on the, the spy calls that I'm in. Uh, but I think... Uh, bull case, good case. I think we just get kind of back up here as far as the S and P goes to that 561 level. Uh, it would be incredibly awesome if it got any higher. Uh, if for some reason Powell comes out and says something different than he has said the last 52,000 times he's actually talked, uh, and there is a red reaction, there's a lot of time to go before we have, before market makers are concerned down here at the 547 level. Uh, if we if we if there was a red reaction and we were to just send it that low, uh, I do think I would be bullish over the weekend. I, I, I'm, I'm at the buy the dip mode. After all of this, you know, we had the, the craziest move in Japan since 1987. You had everyone panicking. There's World War Three in the news every other day. Uh, and then we melt this thing down. Vic shoots up. And then we just V-shape recover that thing like, like it's just no big deal. We forgot the memo of world peace. Uh, at that point, we crushed a lot of these previous lower highs, so all I'm doing is buying the dip. As far as the dip that I bought today, uh, it, you guys know this because if you're in my group, um, I bought SPY calls that expire tomorrow, which is not something that I normally do. Typically, if I'm buying calls, it's at the money two weeks out. 
because of the the sell off right here, I'm I'm still in dip buy mode. I wanted to keep it light. I chose to do that over ES uh, because one, it's a lot cheaper than holding an ES contract overnight, and I didn't want to put a stop in here and tag out because that I would just wake up to a, a wick that came down overnight, tagged my position out, and then sent it. That would just really annoy me. So the spy calls were super cheap, and if they lose, it's 100% loss, no big deal, risk and capital. Or if we push all the way back up, percentage-wise, it's going to be quite a bit. Uh, so, you know, hopefully we send it. But also, if we do have a red reaction to anything tomorrow as far as Jackson Hole or Powell speaking, uh, I'll still be bullish over the weekend. I'll just wait for the, the dip buy. Uh, Atticus says, I rolled, uh, rolled up in a lot of my positions today. Uh, I... I, my phone was blown up today on should I should I be rolling calls? Should we? Uh, I know some people in the group they bought their sold calls back. I do think it's a good time to get cute with that. So if you were in sold calls uh, and after that run up kind of in management mode, you know, and it sold off today, I think it's a good time to buy those back, let it pop up, and then sell some calls uh, again on that. Kind of lock it in. Moving on, we got the Nasdaq. Uh, so drop down uh, again. We had a little hiccup at this yellow zone, <laughs> bounced out of this one, and. And here it is, guys, bear flag or reversal, you know, and like I say, it's all time, depending on your echo chamber you like to sit in, uh, you're probably only hearing one or the other. If you're in a, if you're in the bearish crowd, they're going to call that a bear flag. If you're in the bulls, they're going to call that a higher low. Uh, just know that that's the coin flip, right? That's the heads and tails. Manage your risk according. Uh, the, the easiest thing to do right now on the NASDAQ is to watch this four hour or this hourly candle right here. So here's where the news is. Here's where all the excuses to move markets and move the order order flow around. You have the high right here and the low right here and just sideways since then. So keep an eye on that. Uh, and then breaking that up or down will likely be your deciding factor. Uh, I think it'll probably break up and we'll probably just land right here at that yellow zone. So as far as the uh, expected moves go, I don't know if the cues make it all the way back up unless NVIDIA just leads the way and just leads the charge. Uh all right, uh, as far as the Russell goes, that just does. It looks more like a reversal than anything else, so I would be long this. If I'm, mm, I don't like to put stops in the zones, but if I'm, dry, if I'm buying the Russell futures, I would put my stop right below this red wick. And if you can't see it, the red wick is right here where that dashed horizontal line is. I would just, actually, I would go right below this red wick. I would go long, stop right below there, uh, and just go back up. I bought back a covered call. Felt good until Cody shamed me. <laughs> Rolled up on a red day. If you were in management mode, a lot of those actually you could roll up because it brought it closer to at the money. So the premium actually did get juiced up for, for some. And there's Xavier. What about Spy? I told you guys, someone's going to come in as soon as I finish it up and be like, hey, what about Spy? Or I'll finish with Spy. What about ES? Uh, Xavier, anybody? Guys, I, I'm on a tight. He's on TikTok. Uh, I'm on a tight schedule tonight. I have to be done by 6.15. Uh, it's 6.06 .06 my time. So I'm going to break down a few more tickers. Uh, but go to YouTube, Don Fron Trading. Uh, and I went over. Uh, let's not do that anymore. Oh, hang on. I moved it around. Uh, there we go, TikTok. I went over this list first. We started with the dollar, U.S. dollar, Japanese yen, Bitcoin, the S&P, uh, the NASDAQ, and then the Russell. 